me this week. For my long-term subscribers, you guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging in there with me. For everybody who's new, I hope you're here and uh, ready to enjoy some cool snake content. This week, I thought I would kick off what will probably be a three-part series of checking out the various pairs of carpet pythons that I'm putting together this season in the coming weeks and hopefully getting some babies out of them and breeding this year. So what I'm going to do is step by step we're going to look at each pair and go down the line. So get ready for part one of checking out the 2020 pairs of Morelia here at Riley's Reptiles. So this right here is a male zebra jungle produced by Stephen Katz of SBK Reptiles. And he's a proven breeder. He sired my 2019 clutch of zebras and super zebras. So he'll be getting another, another go at the, the same female this season, hoping for uh, a larger clutch of zebras and supers to offer folks who have expressed interest and not keep all of them this time. So this guy is a 2015 animal, it's not very big, you can see by the size comparison to my hand here. And uh, he's never really been aggressive, he's just a little twitchy and shy, but uh, not bad for a zebra given their stereotypical demeanor. And uh, at the time I wasn't very creative with naming him, so he's just affectionately referred to as SBK after Stephen Katz's business, so... This is the first male of the first pairing for this season. Now, let's go take a look at the female he will be meeting again this year. Alright, so this is a female zebra produced by Don Patterson up in Canada that was brought in some years ago by Chris Bioff. As you know, he's done some import with, with Don over the years in the past. This animal has a more traditional gold and black jungle color that gets a lot lighter at the flanks, but very just chaotic and busy everywhere. And uh, she produced the first clutch of supers for me in 2019, and I'm hopeful she will go again. She's not too, too bad as far as handling goes, but she gets nervous and likes to run as you can tell so um, when I first got her she uh, she lit me up a few times and wasn't very friendly but has since uh, become much more manageable so although she's getting a little out of control here you can see just a really nice zebra and uh, Hopefully you'll get some more supers out of her this year. So that completes the first pairing. Let's move on to the next. All right, so this is a self-made striped jungle from my maternally incubated clutch from 2019. This is Racer 5. And uh, he's actually got two females lined up for him, hopefully, if all goes well. He is young, but... Being maternally incubated, he came out large, eating right away, great demeanor, and uh, takes small rats now. So I'm uh, hoping at 19 months of age he has the, uh, the instincts to, to put in a little bit of work for me. And with any luck, continue on this uh, striped project of line breeding of mine. Um, and maybe even afford some more opportunity to do maternal incubation. So that would be really neat. Bring some more color into this, get some more stripes, and take it to the next step. So like I said, Racer 5, 2019 Jungle, maternally incubated from a striped pairing, and obviously very well striped himself. Now, let's take a look at the two females that he has lined up for him this season. Alright, so this is a big female jungle carpet of mine from Todd Dyer at Psychotic Exotics. She is a 2012 jungle, and 
She's a proven breeder, twice proven for me. And she is the mother of that striped male we just looked at, who I'm hoping will go back over her and do some more line breeding. And she is also the jungle who did my maternal incubation in 2019. So I'm hoping to add some more of her color and striped, you know, characters into his heavily striped line and uh, really just take it to the next step and improve what I've started on that Stripe Jungle project. So, so this will be his first female suitor, Azteca, just an absolutely stunning jungle. My favorite, for sure. All right, now let's take a look at another female jungle for Racer 5 to be the third pairing for this season, and that will be the, th the, uh, the final pair we look at for this part one. All right, this is another big jungle with a lot of striped tendencies, as you can see, and a different color palette of yellow, much more light colored. And this is a 2011 female produced by Nick Mutton of Inland Reptile. And uh, gonna see what we can do with her contributing to the striped jungle projects that I've got working on here. Help uh, inject some more color and striping and diversity and bloodline. And uh, take things to the next level. So really happy to have this girl here and can't, can't wait for all three of these pairings. So that's the jungle pairs for 2020. And this, that about wraps up uh, part one. All right, so how's that for the first couple pairs going this season? Pretty cool. I'm very excited about all of them. I wouldn't be pairing them if I wasn't excited, to be completely honest. So fingers crossed I'm going to try and get as many of these to go this year as possible, and uh, we'll see what happens. So thank you again for hanging out and joining me this week. Join me next week for part two of this three-part series of checking out my 2020 pairs of carpet pythons for this season. I will catch you all later. See you next week.